Okay, well, I definitely enjoyed my uh, time in San Diego, and I hope you guys enjoyed the snaps of me from stage. But uh, it doesn't suck to be home, I will say. It was pretty epic, 84 degree, decent humidity days here in Puerto Rico. So I'm here in my new JLD rant spot, and guess what? I have a JLD rant for you today. JLD Rant is actually a request from one of you, my friends, who saw my snap from stage where I was talking about becoming a person of value. What originated is from an Albert Einstein quote that I saw and came across back in 2012. Try not to become a person of success, but rather a person of value. So I really was kind of stopped in my tracks by that quote, and I said, you know, I've actually been trying to become a person of success for six years now, and I haven't been looking to add value. In chasing success, you know, I tried law school, corporate finance, commercial real estate, chasing, 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 and shockingly, no success. Fortunately, at 32 years old, that quote spoke to me, and I said, why can't I flip my entire outlook, my mindset on its head, and try to become a person of value first and foremost? Coming to that realization, I said, boom, why not deliver a free, valuable, consistent podcast seven days a week with inspiring and successful entrepreneurs? Value. Here I am four years into this journey, living in Puerto Rico, having built a seven-figure-a-year business, inspiring thousands and tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands along the way. This did not happen overnight. This was a ton of hard work, a ton of investing in myself, a ton of hard work, and a lot of focus on value. Key thing is, I accepted that realization that I had to become a person of value first and foremost four years ago, and I worked towards that every single day. What are you doing every single day right now to become a person of value to somebody, to one person, to two people, to 10 people today? Hopefully it's in your niche. Hopefully it's in an area that you're passionate about, that you have excitement, that stimulates you. Become that person of value. Don't try to chase success. I love the quote, you want to become a millionaire, help a million people. And my friends, this day and age, it's not super hard to help a million people, especially when you're delivering that content especially when you're delivering that content for free, and that's what you should be doing, because until you build credibility authority, until you build a know, like, and trust from an audience, you don't deserve to get paid, because you don't deserve to get paid. I didn't get paid for the first nine months of my business because I didn't deserve it, but I built up enough value, enough know, like, and trust that I got paid in spades when I did. Listen, every single day, find a way that you can provide free, valuable, consistent content to your specific audience, to your avatar, to that one perfect listener, viewer, whatever. It's a slow grind. It's a slow grow. It's a slow burn. But every day you're going to compound on top of each other. And I got two books for you to read. The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. And then follow that up with The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. Make it happen. These books make you realize that it's doing the small things right every day. Inspiring, adding value to one person every day will grow your business the right way. Right, JLD rant over. Got some great stuff coming up for you in the next couple of weeks. Glad to be back in Puerto Rico. Keep the fire alive.